Hello everyone. Welcome to lesson four of M-Class. I'm Jack. M-Class takes you from beginner to expert. Today we focus on the foundational differences between public chains and private chains. One emphasizes openness and permissionless innovation. The other emphasizes access control and governance efficiency. Understanding their trade-offs in openness, governance, performance, and compliance helps you evaluate a project's positioning and guides enterprises in designing technical and compliance architectures for real-world business scenarios. Let's break down the key issues through three main themes. First, permission versus openness. Public chains are fully open to the public with no barriers to reading, writing, or validating. Private chains typically require member admission and permission tiers, emphasizing data boundaries and controlled access. Second, performance scaling and governance. Public chains must balance decentralization and security, which naturally limits throughput and latency. Private chains can rely on more centralized governance and hardware strategies to increase throughput, trading some decentralization for higher efficiency. Third, applications and compliance. Public chains fit open ecosystems and composable innovation. Private chains suit regulated industries requiring privacy, auditing, and internal controls. Understanding these three aspects is essential for choosing the right architecture. The core is always about trade-offs and boundaries. Openness brings network effects and composability, but also introduces complexity in security and scaling. Permissioned governance brings efficiency and auditability, but limits external connectivity and composability. Many enterprise solutions adopt a hybrid path, using public chains for settlement and public proofs and private chains for sensitive data and permission management, allowing both sides to cooperate within clearly defined boundaries. This public domain innovation plus private domain compliance model has become the mainstream architecture in recent years. Connect the implementation path into a closed loop. First define what business data must be public versus private. Put public components on public chains for verifiability and composability. Place sensitive processes on private chains to meet internal control and compliance requirements, use cross-chain mechanisms or middleware to synchronize only the minimum necessary trusted information, then evaluate throughput, latency, cost, and compliance evidence with measurable indicators. Following this method lets you benefit from open ecosystem innovation while maintaining enterprise-grade risk control. Today, we analyzed public versus private chains through the lenses of openness, governance, and performance, and introduced the public domain innovation plus private domain compliance hybrid model to help you choose the right architecture in real-world scenarios. I'm Jack, and this is M-Class, taking you from beginner to expert. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson. Next session preview. What is an exchange? the differences between CX, DEX, and CDFI. I'll explain the core differences in matching, custody, and transparency through a unified framework. This is M-Class. Here are the 100 blockchain questions you care about most. See you next time.